Hi, I'm Joe from JH Leather and welcome to the final part of our head collar making tutorial. Let's get started. Okay, so you should have your nose band section, your headpiece and your throat section. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the headpiece to one side for the minute because we only need the nose band bit and the throat part of the head collar for the moment. And so what we're going to do is we are going to be making the cheek pieces and the back stay of our head collar and this is going to bring the whole thing together. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the cheeks. So on this head collar, they are seven inches long. And like we've done for the jowls and the head shapes, we are going to roll this leather over into three till they are seven inches long. And we are using the rest of our one inch strip of leather here. And so once you've got your cheek piece to roughly the seven inch mark, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on to our rolled throat part. And we're just gonna draw around that ring here. And this is gonna sort of sit and make that part of the leather butt up really close to the ring. And we can just cut that with our knife. So once you've done that, you want to just recheck and shuffle your cheek piece around. And so like on the jowls and on the head shapes, this is a little bit of fiddling and um, sort of chopping the ends a little bit and sort of fettling it around a bit until you get it to the seven inch mark. And we want that middle bit of leather butted right up against the ring. And once you're happy you are, have got the overall size, just cut your strip a little bit longer than needs to because we'll cut that down to size when we get to that point. And then again, pop it onto your head collar. And we want to pop this through the noseband piece as well because we want to get it nice and tight there also. So like I said, there is a lot of fettling to do with this bit, chopping little bits off the end and just sort of slowly getting this down to the right size. And then once you're happy you've got the right size, you can squish your turn down on your stop square end as tight as you can and mark roughly with your thumbnail where that is. And that is going to be the point where we edge to because we don't want to edge underneath on that middle section of our leather. Once you're that, you then will need to cut down your one and one eighth bit of leather to one inch wide. Now, if you have got enough left over of your original strap, that's great. But if not, we don't need this one and an eighth bit for anything else now. We can cut that down. And once you've done that, you can then create your second cheek piece. And then we are on to the back stay. So the back stay is six inches long and now this one is slightly different because we need to let that rolled throat pass through this part of the head collar. So again what we're going to do is we're going to roll our leather into three and get that to roughly the six inch mark and then cut off. 
roughly the length that we need so we don't have too much leather to play with and then we can pop this onto our head collar. So as you can see, this is going around the back ring there and then we need our throat to be able to pass through this. And then once you're happy you've got the overall length right you want to squish that turn right down on the ring and mark again with your thumbnail and that will be where we edge to so you want to use your number one edge tool and just edge along both sides here and then we're going to take our three pieces over to the staining bench and get the edges stained and polished And once you've done your polishing, you can then crease the edges of your straps. So what we're going to do now is start our stitch marking. So you want to grab one of your cheek pieces and pop that in place. And we want our turn or our overlap to be on the inside and at the bottom of this part of the head collar. And so once you put your cheek piece in place, it is a bit fiddly, but you want to make sure that that inside bit of leather is pushed right up to the ring and then with your thumb mark where you can stitch mark to. And then again on the stop square end, you want to mark as close to that stop square as possible. And then even these two up with your set square. And with your divider set to your stitching width, you draw a line between those two dots. And you want to do that on both pieces. And so once we've got those two drawn up, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same with the back stay. So once again, we are measuring it just to make sure it is right. And then we want to get that turn nice and tight. So you might need to wet your turn. And if you do, just use some warm water. And this will help get that turn nice and tight onto that ring there. And once you're happy with it, you want to mark with your thumbnail where your stitching will go to. And do the same on the other end. And 
and then even this up onto the other side with your set square. So now we've got everything marked up, what we're going to do is use our number 7 stitch marker and stitch mark along the lines of both our cheek pieces and our back stay. Okay, so now we've got everything stitch marked, what we need to do is just trim off the end of the overlap. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our pieces in place. So starting off here with the back stay. And you want to hold it nice and tight as if you were going to tack it in place. And then just mark where your stitching ends onto the back of that overlap. And then using your set square, you want to mark this line straight and then cut off with your knife. And you also want to nick the corners here and then number one edge along the end. And we're going to do the same with both our cheeks as well. And once you've done that, you can then nip over to the staining table and just stain, polish and crease the ends. Now once you've done that, we are now going to skive the ends of each of our straps. So we're only going to skive the overlap part which is going to be facing down towards the fittings and we need to skive about 5 eighths to 3 quarters of an inch down to about half thickness and we're going to do that on each of our straps And now once you've done your skiving, we can now start to assemble our cheek pieces onto our head collar. So this is a bit fiddly and it can take a little bit of a while to get used to because you've got to hold everything in place as well as have the whole of the head collar hanging off of your cheek piece. So the best way to do this is to have your, sort of if you've got a cutting board, have that hanging over the edge of your table and then you'll be able to sort of have the rest of the head collar sort of around it it makes it a little bit easier and now for this i'm using 20 mil tacks because 16 mil is not long enough to sort of tack this thickness of leather together and so to start with we're just going to put our two cheeks on and then we are going to double hand stitch these in place So I am using TKT8 coarse spun polyester for my thread for this project. And we're going to start off with a back stitch. And then continue with double hand stitching towards us for the rest of this piece. And now you'll need a nice sharp awl for this, so I put a link in the description and just here in the top corner of the video to my awl sharpening video, just in case you need to polish your awl up a bit before you get going on this project.
Okay, so once you've got your two cheek pieces stitched on, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. And so the last thing we need to do is to get that back stay on. And so we want to tack the backstay in place just like we did with our cheek pieces. So once again I've got the edge of my cutting board hanging over the end of my table just so I can get the head collar nice and close to the desk just to make it a little bit easier when tacking together. And now you've got your backstay tacked on, we can double hand stitch this in place. And then hopefully your head collar will look something like this with all our components on. And what we have to do now is just do our finishing touches on those cheek pieces and that backstay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get a piece of sandpaper and we're actually going to sand the edges of those three parts. I'm just going to wrap it around our bone folder just because that will give us a nice flat surface and then sand along both edges of each part. And now once we've got our edges all nicely sanded down and even up, we can then go ahead and restain and polish the edges of these. And once you're done staining and polishing, you can then recrease each part of your head collar. And now the final thing to do is to put our headpiece onto our head collar. And so that is it for our four part head collar making tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have made along a head collar with us, please tag me in your images on Instagram. I am at jhleather and I'd love to see your leather projects. Also, if you like the video, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos and tutorials. And I'll see you in the next episode.